anybody out there that can look around this demented slaughterhouse of a world we live in and tell me that man is a noble creature. Believe me, that man is full of bullshit. So, a rich little man died. What has that got to do with the price of rice, right? And why is that woe to us? Because you people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now. Because less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. So you listen to me. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're in the boredom killing business. <laughs> the man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. And no matter how much trouble the hero is in, don't worry, just look at your watch. At the end of the hour, he's going to win. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. Or so if you want the truth, go to God. Go to your gurus. Go to yourselves. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. does not appear to be in the atmosphere tonight. What must it be like for a champion of the world like Tim Bradley, undefeated in its prime, catch a guy just at the right time, fight as hard as he can, and it's just not good enough. And lose every round, which by my eyes is the case so far. And Bradley has, for the first time, a discouraged look on his face as he goes back to the corner. Yeah. So round six begins, it's been very difficult, at least to my eyes, to find a route that Bradley could have won up to this point. Pacquiao has landed good power shots in virtually every round. Sometimes get there first. Man is trying to uppercut to the last two rounds. He's trying to predict the way that Bradley's head is and trying to catch him in the left. And he's it pretty well right now. This is a Pacquiao story. The right hook lands. Another mark of the power differential in favor of Manny Pacquiao. So what does Bradley do here? He doesn't want to run to just survive. He doesn't have the firepower to keep Manny off. Bradley's trying to fight back. Well, that's yeah. it. Still, Manny Pacquiao nailing him with too many left hands. Nine to nothing, Manny Pacquiao. So far, you see a good fighter against a great fighter. And that's been the difference. Well, there were quite a number of media people here, ringside experts, who seemed convinced that Pacquiao wasn't going to be a great fighter tonight. So far, this matchup is inspiring in his favor to a degree that practically none of us would have thought would be the case. Just a tremendous performance 
against the game in his prime. Young champion, determined to win, never stopped trying, but outclassed. Well, I guess Bradley's cornermen feel as though they might not be at this level again, so they want to pick their fighter up and carry him around. <laughs> GM Brand, we go to the scorecards. Jerry Roth scores about 115, 113 for Pacquiao. CJ Roth scores it 115, 113 for Bradley. And Dwayne Ford scores it 115, 113 to the winner by split decision. And new WBO welterweight champion of the world, the Desert Storm, Timothy Bradley! Well, I'll tell you, I don't think we're blind. I think Harold Letterman is the best scorer alive. I think that is a terrible, bogus decision. I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Dumb, 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 I, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, that's what they started off with. 115, 113. I, I, have, I have no comment. I'm totally confused. I'm as confused as anyone could possibly be. Jinky Pacquiao's reaction at ringside. Timothy Bradley has scored an upset split decision victory over Manny Pacquiao. God only knows how. And one significant effect which we have not mentioned at all up to this point is that if you are, if you're one of those who's been waiting with bated breath for three years for Manny Pacquiao to fight Floyd Mayweather, you're going to be waiting longer because this has thrown a giant monkey wrench into any momentum which may have existed toward a negotiation for that fight. Now, Floyd Mayweather is within his rights and saying, why do I have to fight Manny Pacquiao? He just lost his last fight. So probably, unquestionably, we're going to see a rematch between Pacquiao and Bradley. That presumes that Pacquiao wants to continue his boxing career and wants to get back to the level where he's been. Tonight, he has the fourth loss of his career. Tim Bradley is still unbeaten and has a brand new status. I've seldom been more befuddled by a decision, and I think it was flat out wrong.